Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and it's going to be a brand new gothic subscription box that I've never tried before, never unboxed on my channel before and it's called Coven Subscriptions. So if you have heard about them or want to know more about some more gothic subscription boxes in the UK then I hope you'll subscribe and do keep on watching and I will show you what is inside the box so the box looks like this you will have seen it on the thumbnail so this is kind of what it looks like and that's the brand's logo so it says coven with like a cauldron a witch hat a moon and a cat and it's quite a chunky box <laughs> so I've known about this company for I want to say a couple of months. I follow them on Instagram. They released photos of the boxes after obviously they'd sent them out and each one looked really good so I was always kind of wanting to try them. I think they did a ghost box and that one looked quite good but then they came out with February's theme which was vampires <laughs> so I knew I had to try this one so I did leave it a while and unfortunately they did sell out so I did message the um, lady who runs this box and luckily some of the payments didn't go through or something so they had a few extra ones so she did send me the link and I was able to get this one to unbox for you. So I'm reading off their website. It says a new darkly themed box every month. Each coven box comes bursting with spooky themed items. Your box will contain at least nine items that have been handpicked to fill your dark heart with glee. <laughs> so kind of looking at their website, it's got a few things about this box. So it says the items are handpicked by them. Um, they are unique, interesting and unusual. And I have seen them use brands from like house of hidden horrors which i love killstar um they use quite a few alternative brands which is nice i hope there's an alternative brand in this box <laughs> um it says all their boxes are vegan and cruelty free and they have free uk shipping and they also donate one pound per box to the sophie lancaster foundation as well so that's always good this box costs 32 pounds 99 so on the more expensive side of subscription boxes i want to say like a cult box is 20 something um i think spooky box is 20 it might have gone up i don't know like 28 maybe um so this one is a little bit more pricey but from what i've seen the items look really good so i'm really excited to unbox this for you so i will stop rambling and actually get on with it i have seen it says a mug on here and i think it's the mug I've actually used for my shop but we will see <laughs> so when you open it up it looks like this usually everything falls out <laughs> but it does say yeah something's gone already spooky for life with a little ghost stamp and then it's got some things on top one of which fell off so it says coven thank you is it coven or coven coven thank you for your order it says welcome to the coven kirsty so that's nice that they put your name on it and on top there's this air freshener it says february is a month where traditionally we celebrate love here at coven hq there is lots of love we love each other our familiars coven and our coven members so to show this here is a little extra something to celebrate love from tom and kelly i think they're a couple who run this box and this is a till death do us part and i think this is strawberry yeah strawberry scented because i actually looked at these for my valentine's box <laughs> so there is one of these air fresheners i usually end up putting them in my wardrobe because i share a car with my mum and she doesn't like a lot of scents so this usually goes in my wardrobe and then on top we also have the kind of list of the contents and i have seen from this that there is a mug so i think it is the same one unfortunately but never mind i will read that at the end and i will just see what's inside so there is also a little sticker as well it does feel heavy but that is because there's a mug in here yeah it's the same mug <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like it does look like it's kind of packed full but i will pick the mug first this is definitely taking up most of the box so first up there is this dead thirsty mug and i actually think this is a really cool mug um that's what one of the reasons i did 
buy these for my shop so when i started branching out into kind of mugs and everything i saw these on like one of my wholesaling websites and i thought they were really cool i was interrupted by the doorbell because i'm waiting on royal mail to collect some of my packages so sorry if i left like super abruptly um and i can't remember what i was saying but i was talking about this mug this is the dead thirsty mug and this is what it looks like it's a really cool design it's red and then it's got this blood and it says dead thirsty and it's a cauldron i think this mug is really cool it's why i got these in to sell in my shop because they're super like vampy um and it's also like got a good weight to it and i know that they retail for 15 pounds so already you've kind of got half your boxes value so that's really good i'm not sure if i will be keeping this though because I have a lot of mugs but it's a really really nice item and definitely on theme so this is the first one i can see some sweets and they look like fangs this is going to be like really crinkly so sorry about that <laughs> this says dracula teeth and they are these huge fang sweets they're like red with white fangs they look really really cool so there are those. I do really like jelly sweets like that. So that's always good. Um, I can see this. I think this is like a bag. This is really cute actually. It's pink and red. So it's got like a pink background. And then it's got these vampire kind of mouths with teeth and blood. It's a really cool print. And I think this is perfect for like the February box because it's Valentine's as well. Like pink and red is quite a common theme when it comes to Valentine's Day, but this feels really nice. It feels really thick. Okay, that time it was Royal Mail. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry if this video is a bit like disjointed, but hopefully I can edit it together and make it look smooth. <laughs> but I was talking about this pouch. Yeah, this feels really nice. It's not, it's not like a fleecy material, but it feels really thick and quite soft. It feels actually really high quality and it does have a zip along the top and then it's just lined with this kind of shiny material. I'm assuming this is a makeup bag but I love bags like this. Like they're always handy whether you need to keep like chargers in them, um, makeup jewelry for when you travel like they're so useful so i really like this item next up it looks like a magnet so it's kind of like a plastic magnet with this magnetic strip on the back of it and then on the front it says fantastic it says nightclub life begins at night <laughs> so there is this so that's quite cool it's quite a dark print like it almost looks it looks black on camera but it's almost green i definitely haven't seen this design so i'm guessing this is made by them and i always need magnets so i'm sure i'll get use out of that next i see wax melts <laughs> i love a wax melt i have a box dedicated to my wax melts and it's it's very much overflowing <laughs> but i'm sure i can add this to it so it says vampire's blood oh my melt scented wax melt oh i think it is it cinnamon maybe I will open it and see, but it does say Cinemal. This is the packaging of it. Really cool sticker there. This doesn't have a brand unless Oh My Melt is the brand. Oh, that smells really nice. I think it's just like a snap bar in pink. Oh, and it's got some kind of silver glitter on it. But it smells like incredible. I don't think it is cinnamon because it doesn't smell like cinnamon it smells almost fruity or like like sweet fruity maybe more sweet almost like bubble gum i don't know it smells really good maybe on the list at the end it will tell us the scent because that smells really good so there is this one. Oh, that looks really cute <laughs> that's so cool okay so next up is a soap how like vampire-y is this soap so this is the soap story handmade vampy soap slice um it says the fragrance is blackberry i love blackberry so that's good i'm not sure what it's supposed to be but it's like red with this kind of black top but that's really cool i like the color theme of this i haven't seen these before either 
So there is this. I'll definitely use that. I love soap. There's also incense cones in here. Um, and this is quite funny because it's the vampire's kiss. And I have actually ordered the stick versions of this for a future mystery fox. <laughs> so I already know like the scent of these and they smell really good. So these are incense cones. I don't have anything to burn incense cones on, I don't think. Maybe I could use, I've got like a bat, but I think you might be able to use it for both. So yeah, there are these. It just says heighten your senses and create an inner feeling of power and control. <laughs> As the playful incense of Vampire's Kiss unfolds its sharp mix of lavender, musk and cedarwood notes. So those are the notes of them. And that's the packaging. Again, very, very on theme. It looks like we've got these smaller items left now. So there is this, which looks like a crystal. And it says it's bloodstone. Not that I needed any more crystals. <laughs> so yeah, it does have like red and kind of green. It almost looks like moss at the end of it. But that's what the crystal looks like as you can see it's very red with like green at the end there so that's the stone it says bloodstone is a beautiful green stone with red slash brown spots uh the spots look like blood splatters giving the stone its name it says balances us when feeling stress calms the mind and increases creativity slash intuition Helps provide inner strength slash courage. And it's got some more meanings on there. So that's the crystal. Oh, these are cute. Next up, we have earrings. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I don't have my ears pierced. I don't plan on getting my ears pierced. So I can't wear these. I'm wondering if I could take this off. I probably could, to be honest. I do have all of the materials. So I might take this apart and make it into a necklace because it's really cool and I love the glitter acrylic effect so look at the glitter on that like these are really cool and they are acrylic I love acrylic <laughs> and yeah they've got like white teeth and fangs this does look like it's got a cover on top of it that does peel off so it's like shiny black it does have a cover on it because that's how my acrylic comes <laughs> so yeah they are very very black very cool i'll either sell them but i do really like that glitter effect so i might make this into a necklace um because i really like the pendant of these so that's the next item We've got two stripy things and i think this is a print and i think that's everything so this is what is this it's quite dark it looks like a tree with a moon like a blood moon almost with bats but it's very very dark it looks brighter on the camera um but it's a little art print it's a six in size and it's got all of these bats it looks really nice on the camera actually but it's very very dark in in person but it is made of this like velvety art print almost like can you hear the crows <laughs> um almost like the cover of my planner so it's a really nice um texture so yeah again very very vampy two items left so i'll go for this one first so this one is a ring it looks like it's an adjustable ring with fangs i'm not keen on the fang design for this it doesn't look as realistic as like the other designs i would say so it's just this adjustable ring i'm assuming it's kind of like fashion jewelry so i will probably sell this one just because i like my rings to really last oh this looks like a i don't know it's got a bat on it i think it's a necklace this looks really cool actually i'm not sure what it's made out of it could be like a coated metal but it's this really detailed bat necklace it is black and it's got all the details in the wings it's really cool and then, then it comes off either side with this black chain and then there's a lobster clasp as well. So yeah, that's really cool. I like that. I will probably get wear out of that. For size reference, that's kind of what it looks like. So that is the whole box. I would say that this box seems worth the £30. You'll have to let me know. But as I said, I know that this mug is around 15 And this would probably be about, what, 10 So these two together, you've already got 25 And then you've got, like, the soap, the wax melt, the earrings, the crystal. So I think that would definitely total up to over 30 I will 
kind of gather everything together and show you a quick recap so we got the mug and also the really cool makeup pouch the wax melt and the soap the incense and the air freshener the earrings and the adjustable ring the crystal and the magnet and then the sweets the necklace and also the art print so definitely a range of items so in total there was 13 items bigger items are definitely the mug and the makeup bag um the other ones seem quite small apart from the jewellery um so yeah there's definitely the range you get like the homeware the scented stuff the kind of beauty things with the soap and then jewellery crystals so there's definitely the range of this box so yeah overall i am quite happy with this one there's nothing that i particularly don't like maybe the ring is not my favorite my favorite item is definitely the makeup bag i think that's really unique i really like that also with this just found it <laughs> um it does say that the vampire's blood wax melt is by oh my melt so that is a branded item um it says the swarm art print is by enthralled yet the sweets are by handy candy yeah i think this was a really good box but you will have to let me know what you think of this box do you think it's worth the 32 pounds 99 considering postage is included in that um you'll have to let me know down in the comments have you tried out this subscription box i hope you enjoyed this video do subscribe if you did and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye